Hey nerdlings, do you nerd for Northwest Arkansas Comic Con? Let's go check it out. That's your best deal. You get one and a half figures. Okay. Isn't he Hold adorable? On, I might have to get this guy. It's <laughs> a lot of heads. Sorry, honey. <laughs> What up, everyone? It's John Brown, the one and only Bandana Gamer, coming to you today with a video of appreciation. If you notice behind me, you will recognize that I nerd for Power Rangers, and I nerd for Do You Nerd, Tom and Lacey. Tom and Lacey are two of the coolest people on the internet, in the universe, in this dimension, in any other dimension. Tom and Lacey are freaking awesome. And a while back they sent me a little message about them going to a convention and two Power Rangers were going to be there. And I was 
reached out and asked if if I could send them some figures to get signed, and they said I could do that, and they were very generous and nice and uh, allowed me to send them and uh, went above and beyond with getting these signed for me, and I am deeply appreciative for what they did at that convention for me and how awesome these things are now to have in my convention. So wanted to show off these and then kind of talk about why I wanted to get these autographed. Uh, the first one is this Pink Ranger 2-pack. It's the cat 2-pack, or I guess 3-pack is, there's her cat form at the bottom. But uh, Catherine Sutherland uh, played the character Cat with a K, but she spells Catherine with a C, uh, was the second Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger, and she was the only Zeo Pink Ranger. And so they released this 2-pack of both her forms, and one of the first... Uh, teams I was trying to complete in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection was Zeo, and I think this was the last uh, Zeo figure I needed to have the complete team. And now I'm just trying to get all of those signed, the Zeo figure signed. And my main reason for that is, if you look around at my game room, space has kind of become a premium thing, and I really don't have a lot more space to collect much more Lightning Collection. And I really love them, but I was like, okay, so if I can't get any more, how can I enhance the ones I have? And the first thing I wanted to do was get them autographed by the people who played them. And the first set I really wanted to get autographed was the Zeo team. And the main reason I want to get those signs is those are sadly... Uh, the er That's the earliest team you could get a complete, complete set of sign for, uh, because the... Untimely death of Thuy trying to first Yellow Ranger. Awesome! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is awesome to have a major step in the sign complete signed Zio team. Um, Really excited. Now, of course, person of my age, my favorite team, full on nostalgia. Won't argue what's the best season or whatnot. There's 30 seasons. It's all, it's all your personal taste. Is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's what brought me to the dance. That's what I still love. What I've enjoyed showing my youngest. And Karen Ashley just recently got two Lightning Collection figures. And looking at the wall of Lightning Collection. This is an MMPR, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger set that I could get completely assigned, and that's the metallic. Notice there's kind of a glitter. And Karen Ashley and Aisha uh, just really loved her and the character she portrayed. And it was really cool to have her presence. If you notice, I have this lovely post in the background that is also currently signed by Karen Ashley. Uh, she's just a ranger I really love and really appreciate her work and what she brought to the team. And... Once again, this is an awesome thing to have signed and in the collection, and now I can start working on getting the complete Mighty Morphin Metallic Lightning Collection figure signed. Gosh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, I brought one. I have like, I only had two. I brought two of them. Do you want me to personalize it? Or no, we just want a signature. Perfect. Thank you. I know. Me, you have the collectibles. I always ask because it's yeah. like, you guys like it a certain way. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. That is Sorry. awesome. What were your names? I'm Lacey and this is my husband Tom. Nice to meet you. It was nice, nice to meet you. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great one. Thanks, you too. Yeah, have a good weekend. Bye-bye. So once again, I want to say a huge thanks to Tom and Lacey for going out to that convention and uh, taking these for me and getting them signed and just how awesome they are in my life and what amazing people they are and, you know, you're here watching this video, you know how great their channel is. Just know that as great as their channel is, they are 20 billion times even greater in person. So that's going to do it for this one, my friends. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Lady Lacey toy hunting with Velma and Black Widow a moment ago.
Hello, nerdlings, and thank you for joining us for this NWA Comic Con collection. First up in this pickup line is the Keychain Cat. This green striped cutie is going to go perfectly into your pocket, keeping your keys safe. He's got painted whiskers, painted paws, and adorable eyes that just want to say, Take me home, right? Meow. Next up is a Lady Lacey favorite. It's a squishy toy. To be quite honest, I have no freaking clue what this thing is. It looks to have three eyeballs. I think those are maybe ears. They could be horns, perhaps wings. And he's got his mouth slightly open. I think she's going to crush him now. Oh, the humanity. But it's okay. Look, he's back to his normal shape. Oh my. Oh, I think I know why she picked this up now. It's terrible, people. It's so bad. Next up, for all of our What If Marvelites out there, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, you can collect like a spider can when you're collecting Spider-Ham. This adorable Funko Pop style figure has the titular Spider-Ham leaping off of the Spider-Man face emblem. He has his cartoonish mallet with the BAM clearly present. Ouch! Looks like that post is going right up Main Street. Sorry, Peter Porker. No spider fandom would be complete without the ever lovely Spider Gwen, aka Ghost Spider, depending on which book you're reading and when. I don't really know a whole lot about Spider Gwen. This is actually Lady Lacey's area of expertise. It's a shame that she's not telling you about this. Obviously, Spider-Gwen likes to thwip, and she likes to jump. She spins around and around like a record, baby. Spider round, right round. Naturally, it wouldn't be a pickup without a brand new plushie. This adorable stuffed animal is a Japanese... Oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher this word. Makaku? The Japanese Makagyu has been listed as a threatened species by the IUCN. Some populations have been known to bathe in hot springs during the freezing winters and swim during the sweltering summer heat. They live together in troops that are led by the alpha male and usually consist of between 20 and 30 individuals. I noticed that he doesn't have much of a tail, but you can see his bare monkey butt. She's throwing monkeys at me, people. Next up, what is a lady without her jewelry? This lovely gemstone necklace is lapis lazuli. Although, if you were to ask Lady Lacey, she would assure you that this is actually a spaceship fuse. It is probably used to power some sort of starship as it reaches light speed, exploring all of the galaxy. The last lot in our collection tonight, of course, are Lego minifigs. Lady Lacey has a vast, vast collection of Lego minifigs. I'm talking vast. Guys, seriously, I cannot overstate just how many freaking Lego minifigs she has. Anyway, she has collected quite the eclectic mix tonight, but it does look like the girls have it. We have, of course, representing Marvel, the ever-lovely, ever-dangerous Psylocke. The body-swapped British assassin has her trademark katana, and she's ready to defend the X-Men and all of mutant kind. Next up, no, you're not seeing double, that is Scarlet Witch. And these are minifigs based on her WandaVision appearance. First of all, we have her in her Halloween costume, rocking the crown and the cape, and showing off her chaos magic. Next, we have a more down-to-earth, suburbanite Scarlet Witch, as she's still rocking her chaos magic, about to make things very, very bad for Agatha. Proving that it is never too soon to start getting spooky, we have Elvira, Mistress of the Night. 
I'm not gonna lie, I expected that minifig to be a little more 3D, if you know what I mean. Now, here's someone who's been popping up all over the place, both in the Clone Wars TV series and in The Mandalorian, as well as Boba Fett, Ahsoka. Oh, it looks like we have a battle for the century right here. Psyblade versus lightsabers. Place your bets. And I suppose that's all of the Lego minifigs we have to show. Oh, wait, we almost forgot. How sad would that have been? Eeyore. And I believe this is something that's not going into your private collection. Spoilers. Thank you for joining us on this journey, looking at both the Northwest Arkansas Comic Con Convention as well as the pickups that we found there. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave some comments down below. Ooh, witchy women, Lego magic and Elvira. I'm leaning towards this one. Like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you poked me with the microphone. <laughs>